Good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube fam. How y'all doing? It's your boy, Nick, H-O-U-T-X uh, -O -O Trader. Hey, good morning. Today, March 26th, it is 0430 in the morning. Zero, no, it's not 430. 0741, I don't know what I'm thinking. It's 741 uh, Central Time, so the news had just dropped, but the market has not opened yet. We're going to break down how I took this gold trade, guys. Okay, this is just for training. This is not for... Uh, financial advice. If you need financial advice, please go see a financial planner. So let's break down this trade real quick. Let me share my screen. All right. Bingo. Here we go. Look at this gold trade we took, guys. Let's go to trading view. There it is. Okay. I preached to you guys over and over that gold loves a 78.6. So if we draw Fibonacci from the bottom of this area to the top of this area, all right, from the bottom here, I'm sure you guys can see the top here and the bottom right here. Okay, we draw that Fibonacci. Then what I like to do is I like to mark off 78.6 and the 88.6. And I put a little box there and I call it the buy zone. Okay, when the prices come back down into my buy zone, then I'm starting to look for buys. I'm not saying that I automatically take them, but now I start looking for opportunities. Okay, so what did it happen? I seen this 78.6 get hit and pushed off and I did not catch that entry. Or did I? No, I take that back. I did. Which one I did not catch was this one. I did not hit this entry because it did not hit my 78.6. And at the same time in the one hour time frame, I see that it's not oversold on the RSI. So I'm patient. I see it pump up and then I see it come back down. Also, this is only the first leg of the Elliott wave. Okay, that's leg one. So then we, we see a retracement and now we see another push down. There is leg two. Leg two tapped me into the trade. Okay, right there. We got in that trade right there at 78.6. Also, the RSI is now almost oversold. If we come down to the 30 minute, it is oversold on the 30 minute right here and right this the bottom circle we have. Okay. Now I could have been a little bit more patient, but I took that entry. Now what happens? It retraces and gives us the third leg of the Elliott wave, okay? When it does that, now it's divergent. On this second touch right here, the one I got in, it was also divergent. If you see, um, let me expand this a little bit more, you can see that this bottom is higher than this bottom. So this is lower right here. This is higher, but the price is going in the opposite direction. This price up here is higher and it's getting lower. So it's continuing to sell even though the price and the strength of the sales is getting smaller. The real entry would have been this one up here, this third touch, and it would have been on the third touch of the RSI. It also set up a nice little trend line down below. Okay, so let's just uh, put the RSI back to where it belongs down here at the bottom. And that is it, guys. We took that entry and we nailed it. We, we, I was actually on a Friday. It popped off. It gave us a break of structure, which is giving us confidence to hold the trade. I was getting kind of worried um, that perhaps, um, perhaps this is going to be, uh, it's going to break down below because it's setting up liquidity down below. But I, I held it and woke up this morning and boom, took off. So again, I TP'd one already now. I, I know that I have it here. I went ahead and closed it out this morning here because I'm sure this is probably going to retrace a little bit. Uh, I see this order block, the bottom of the order block. And actually, if you look at that that wick, the bottom of this area here, these wicks, the price came up and touched it. So it came in and got in these wicks. Also, you guys know that I teach uh, kissing candles, which is this little candle guy right here. And if you look, that's actually the bottom of that wick. It came in, touched the bottom of it. So I closed out one third of my position. And I left the two thirds going because I think it needs to, it's going to continue to go up. So I need to have uh, this position to continue to run. But that's how we took that entry 78.6, 30 minute came down. It was oversold. It was also divergent. I wanted to mark off this, um, do you want to think? I wanted to mark off the second leg. So there's the first leg. The second leg of the Elliott wave would have been right here. And if you look, guys. Look at how the 236, which is the TP extension, hits perfectly on the third leg. You guys, I teach the, the second leg. Use your Fibonacci's to fib the second leg, which if you're just learning, the top here to the bottom of the second leg is right there. And look at the TP extension, 236 right here, and it gets nailed. 
that is the third leg, and it's also the 88.6 on the bigger Fibonacci. So a lot of times I like to see the third leg TP at my 78.6 right here, which is the reason why I took the entry right there. Um, but hey, I mean, I took the entry there. I went into some drawdown, but I had a proper stop loss, so it's all good. So right now I'm now broke even in profit, and I took one third off, which covers my entry fees, which is my, basically my stop loss. And so let me show you. Here it is. Here is my funded challenge that um, I'm doing live with you guys. So you'll see the entry, which is right here. Okay. Um, actually, if we click on closed positions and we click here, it'll show you. There it is. There's the entry. We woke up this morning, closed out one third of it, which is not a lot, guys. I mean, we're, we're only working on a $10,000 account. I closed up 27 bucks. Who cares, right? Uh, we're still up 1.8%. And the equity right now is 2.35%. As you guys know, I didn't do a whole lot of trading uh, last week. I was traveling. So I've only had a few trades in this account. I haven't even had that much. I have not, I'm not over trading it. That's for sure. And um, there it is. There's the trade. 78.6. We didn't catch the third leg entry. Would have been nice. Um, and I drew this whole trend line here just for the hell of it yesterday when it bounced off. And I was like, hey, we're good to go. Bounce and gone. All right, guys. That's how we broke down this trade. If you see anything you like in this trade, please subscribe. Please, please like the video. If you have any questions, please comment. I'll make a video or I'll try to get back to you and answer those questions. All right, guys? So help me do, do me a favor. Help me grow this channel. Uh, I'm not promoting anything. I'm not selling anything. All right? All I'm asking you guys to do is hit that button. And if also, well, since we're here, if we come to the dot card, guys, I'll put this dot card in the description, the link to my dot card. But if you come to my dot card, it has my YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, my flash funding is the broker that I'm currently using right now. Um, I'm assuming not broker. That's the funded company that I'm using right now. And I have a couple of discords and a telegram on here. So you guys can have some free resources and a link to a good um, funding company. All right, guys, you guys have a good day. Oh, I'm sitting here talking. I'm not even showing it. Share screen. My bad. Here is the dot card. All right. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. My flash funding is the funding company I'm using two discords and a telegram. However you guys like, those are all free. Those are there for you guys to go in and chat with other people and uh, ask questions and learn whatnot. All right. Have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.